All right. Happy afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. We've made it to the middle of the week, a little closer to the weekend and a little closer to the peak of hurricane season. Unfortunately, tropics are heating up. I'm tracking everything that's going on and I'm going to give you an idea of where we could have some issues and if you have anything to be concerned about. First of all, let's talk about this potential for some trouble in the Gulf. Of course, we've been tracking tropical storm Aaron in the Atlantic, but but as of last night, we now have the potential for some tropical trouble brewing in the southern Gulf. Here is the deal at this point. We've got a tropical wave that kind of flared up on us last night in the Northwest Caribbean. It is now moving over the Yucatan Peninsula and it will move into the southern Gulf likely on Thursday. Very low chance for this to become a brief tropical depression before landfall Friday, likely near Northeast Mexico and South Texas. So here is what it could do for Houston weather. I think it will enhance our rain chances Friday, but overall impacts here at least should be minimal. So that is some good news. But here it is on our satellite the burst of convection, the showers and storms rolling across the Yucatan Peninsula, fairly disorganized just to the west of Cancun. But once it gets over the warm water of the southern Gulf, there could be some brief development. There's only going to be about one day's time for this thing to kind of flare up and become maybe a tropical depression. All of the models are keeping it fairly weak, so we're not expecting a hurricane in the Gulf at this point. So that is good news. But it is going to have a chance, at least a low 10 percent chance to develop into a tropical system over the next few days. So we are keeping a close eye on it. You can see the area shaded in yellow. That is the area of concern, the area where we could have our tropical wave turn into a tropical depression. So it's only going to be in the Gulf likely Thursday and it likely is starting to make landfall by Friday morning and Friday afternoon. So it's not going to have a lot of time, but while it is in the Gulf, very warm water to work with here. We've got water temps in the mid to upper 80s, so super steamy water. And of course, that warm water helps to fuel these tropical systems. So this is working in favor of the tropical system developing. However, it's not going to be in that very warm water for long. And like I said, most of the models are keeping it this week. So let's see what our Fox weather model tropical edition says. This is by 2 p.m. Thursday. Notice some disorganized showers and storms trying to maybe get <laughs> into formation to become a tropical depression by Thursday afternoon, but not really looking very organized or impressive here. But you can see that area in the southern Gulf. Now, as we put this into motion, notice by Friday morning, Friday afternoon, I'll stop the clock here around 2 p.m. Here is our disturbance. It's either going to be a tropical wave or maybe a weak tropical depression, and it likely is going to be right around northeast Mexico and southern Texas, just south of Corpus Christi. So heavy rain, gusty wind, rough seas, higher rip current risk will all be going on for parts of the south Texas coast. Now, what about Houston? Notice this is not really heading up towards Houston. I think we will get a little bit of that moisture for Friday afternoon and evening, but by Saturday, it's pretty much gone. So I don't think we're going to have huge impacts from this system. So here's what we will get. We'll get that plume of moisture coming in from the Gulf. The majority of it likely stays closer to South Texas, but we will get a little bit more moisture and the rainfall potential will increase for Houston for Friday. So maybe a few more bursts of rainfall for your Friday evening plans, but I don't expect Houston to get hit by a tropical storm or a hurricane, at least not this time. So I think we're safe from this one. We'll keep watching it closely, but if it were to overperform and turn into a tropical storm, the next name on the list would be Fairnon, but I don't think we'll have to worry about Fairnon because that system will not be over the Gulf waters for very long. So, so far this season, we've had five tropical storms in the Atlantic, Andrea, Barry, Chantal, Dexter, and Aaron, and we currently are still dealing with Aaron. Tropical storm Aaron expected to become a hurricane still later this week, likely by Friday into the weekend, continuing to gain strength. It has been racing to the west and it is starting to look more impressive. We are noticing those bursts of convection. It is moving into warmer waters now in the central Atlantic. And as of the 4 p.m. advisory, guess what? It has gotten a little stronger. Another reason it is going to continue to strengthen, well, 
we're seeing more breaks in that thick Saharan dust. So the dark brown indicates the thicker, dusty areas in the Atlantic, and the lighter brown indicates where we have thinner areas of dust. So Aaron is moving into an area where the dust is not as thick, so that will allow this system to strengthen. So we are expecting a hurricane over the next couple of days and likely a major hurricane by the end of the weekend. So currently Tropical Storm Aaron has gone from 45 mile per hour winds to 50 mile per hour winds moving a little bit slower to the west at 17 miles per hour and pressure has come down a little bit a few millibars. So usually lower pressure means strengthening and stronger wind speed. So that is exactly what's happening. Aaron is tracking west notice by Friday morning when a it's a 75 mile per hour hurricane getting close to some of those northeastern Caribbean islands this weekend north of Puerto Rico. It is a major category three hurricane. In fact, now expecting a 120 mile per hour major hurricane by Monday afternoon north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The good news for the Gulf Gulf Coast, east coast of the U.S., this will likely get picked up by a Bermuda high and pushed to the north. So I do think it will stay away from the U.S., but it could be an issue for Bermuda next week. So keep that in mind if you have any travel plans there. So there's the Bermuda high. It likely will start to curve more to the northwest and eventually to the north, and it is going to come pretty close to Bermuda as we go through next week. Also, there could be some impacts to some of the Caribbean islands this weekend, Puerto Rico being one of them. This may major hurricane is going to pass just to the north of Puerto Rico. So I think by Saturday and Sunday, those outer rain bands will start to lash parts of Puerto Rico. The, the surf will be rough and the rip current risk will be increasing. So not the best beach weather for Puerto Rico for this weekend, but it looks like at least the hurricane will pass the island to the north. So for this season, we have had five named storms, five tropical storms. We are expecting anywhere from 13 to 19 named storms. At least that's what NOAA was predicting. Colorado State thinking we'll have 16 named storms. And of course, we got all the way through the end of November. As far as an average year, about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three of those being major hurricanes. So we're really just getting into the part of the season where things start to heat up. We get more tropical waves that could turn into tropical systems. So for the last few weeks of August, we are looking at these hot spots, the potential for more tropical development, and that's going to be that main development region across the central Atlantic, the western Atlantic, a more likely chance there, and even in the Gulf, the chance is on the higher side. So we'll continue to monitor this closely. Keep in mind that the peak of hurricane season is not until September 10th, and hurricane season goes all the way through the end of November. So stay alert. Make sure you've got your emergency gear ready to go. You don't want to be scrambling at the last minute trying to get prepared. More Texas live and local after this.